This year, a number of leading private banks in Asia have announced they are transforming their offerings in the private banking space by partnering with and collaborating with financial technology companies. Global Search has brought together a panel of thought leaders from the financial technology and the banking industries to put together their thoughts how it's going to affect the private banking industry going into the future. Hello, welcome to Singapore. My name is Perry Barrow, Managing Director of Global Search Executive Recruitment. Hi, I'm Charlotte, COO of Util Media. Today we are going to have a panel discussion on fintech and its impact on wealth management. Hi Will, tell me about yourself. Hi, my name is Will Wharton and I'm the co-founder of I Can Cat, which is a Singapore-based fintech company. What's your view on the current status of financial technology? I think that there's a, a, a new wave which is very exciting currently yes. um, and that's, uh, I think, precipitated by the financial crisis um, and uh, people demanding or needing new methods yes. as well as compliance of regulation taking up most technology budgets for the last 10 years and now people are opening their eyes to the opportunity that FinTech. Hi, thank you for having me here today. My name is Richard Turin, I'm a FinTech executive at IBM and I work with FinTechs, small companies, trying to bring them new technology that will help them compete and be, be, bring better financial technology to larger institutions, who are, whom I also work with, um, and I try to make an ecosystem between the small and the large. Hi, Rahul. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Sure, I'm Rahul Banerjee. Uh, I run the FinTech company called Bondi Value. What's your take on financial technology? I think financial technology is something, to me, it is meant to benefit the end customer. Yes. You know, uh, it is meant to give them better services, cheaper services. And I think that's what the excitement is. Mm -hmm. I don't think the excitement around financial technologies really is to, you know, help the big banks make even more money. Yes. So, you know, it would be less exciting for the public at large. Oh. Eric, please tell me about yourself. Good afternoon. So just a little bit background. Uh, my name is Eric Chua. I'm Managing Director for Asian Wealth Community. We are an industry association predominantly for the private wealth community. So I've worked for Bank of New York Mellon and Royal Bank of Canada yes. in, in both investment banking and private banking. Um, I'm also a fintech mentor for Startup Bootcamp. So I'm familiar with the impact of uh, fintech and how it's going to be for our industry. What is your opinion on the current status of financial technology? Mm. I think um, with the fintech festival last year which MIS hosted, it's created a lot of buzz which is good, everybody's getting very excited. Yes. But at the same time, I think it's created a lot of noise. So um, it is important that FinTech will change the way we do business in the financial industry. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eric. No, my pleasure. And uh, please tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I have been working in the industry as a private banker during the last 20 years in different roles in different jurisdictions in Switzerland, Spain and here in Singapore. So financial technology? Well I think the from one side from the point of view of the banks and the uh, independent asset managers, I think they're a little bit scared. First of all, because um, there is a lot of uh, knowledge about these things. Yes. So we are afraid to lose our jobs, mm -hmm. that there is new technologies that will put yes. us in another place where we cannot improve in itself mm -hmm. and then we cannot make money anymore. That's, that's why I think that there is some barriers to to take this in a proper way. This is Rainer Michael Price. I work as a portfolio strategist for a multifamily office in Singapore. Yes. Uh, what's your state view on the current state of financial technology? I think the current stage is very much in flux. I think we're at a transformational area. It's a bit like when the internet came in 1994, 1995. Yeah. The internet before the browser. I think a lot of the developments we're seeing in fintech at the moment is a bit like the internet 1994 before the browser. Yes. And now we're seeing increasingly, potentially in 2017, a lot of applications that would enable the browser, so to speak. So I expect a lot of change 
in the next few months and weeks with regards to fintech and also digital currencies and so forth. Yes. So we are at the beginning of a very, very exciting era for fintech. Correct. And not just in fintech, also in, in global politics. But yes. I think a lot of these developments we've seen in, in global politics will yes. potentially accelerate that move to new technology and a new application of that technology. Yes. That's brilliant. Thank, Thank you, you, Michael.